artists, I thought I would do a fun St. Patrick's Day uh, painting for you. I hope you can follow along with me because it'll be really fun. Um, so I'm going to get started here. I have my little canvas, but if you have just paper or cardstock, something like that, it'll be fine. So instead of using paint brushes today, we're going to be using Q-tips and if you have a water bottle or some kind of bottle that has a little cap on it, we're going to be using one of these. It's going to be really fun. All right. So I have my pink colors here. I have the rainbow colors and then black. So what we're going to do is what I want you to start off with is we're going to have green right down here at the bottom. So we're going to work on a little grassy spot. So just a little paint down here for our pot of gold to sit on. All right, there we go. So for our pot of gold, we're gonna use black. And it's pretty easy to make the pot. Um, so what I want you to do, we'll start from over here, is I want you to make a circle Circle with your black. I want to fill that in a little bit. Get a little more paint if you need to. Alright, and then to make just the top of the paint, I want you to just make a line right on top. So make it a little bit thicker there. So it looks like our little pot of gold. So a circle with just a line on top. All right, so we're gonna have our rainbow coming out of our pot and going into the sky. So our rainbow is made up of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. So we're gonna start off with our red. And instead of painting with it, I want you to make little dots. We're gonna make our, our rainbow out of dots. So let me see. I'm going to start over here. We've done a dot painting in several of our classes before. Some of you may remember that if you've done it before. It's called pointillism. So we're doing a couple techniques with this. So I'm going to make a rainbow arch right over the corner of my painting. The first line is kind of hard, but once you get that going, it'll be very easy to continue on. All right, there is my first color of my rainbow. So I'm gonna do the same thing, following along with, with my orange. Sure you get more paint when you need it. All right, so we're continuing on with our orange. Just follow along the same, the same line we did earlier. It's kind of different painting with just, just little dots, but it's fun. All right, there's my orange. Next is yellow. Yeah, I like yellow. Yellow, green, and blue are my favorite colors. So we're going on with the green now. It's a nice dark color. 
So if you don't have your paints already pre-mixed with your orange and your green and your violet, you can very easily mix them. That's what I did with mine. So I made uh, a little bit of red mixed with yellow to make my orange. And for green, I mixed yellow and blue. Made a very pretty green. So I'm going to do my blue next. And then for violet, I made a little batch of red and blue mixed together. So it's just a little something fun to do today. Hope you guys are having a, a fun St. Patrick's Day. Have your green on. Alright, there's blue and then violet. Follow my rainbow here. Almost done with it. Now we can do some fun stuff down at the bottom. There we go. Okay, so now it's time to use our little bottle cap. So what I want you to do with that is we're going to put some paint on here. Just fill it up with green and I want you to kind of down towards the bottom by the grass. We're just going to press that on there and make a little circle. So I'm going to put some more paint on there. Make sure it's nice and covered. We'll put one right next to it, right here. Alright, and then one more time. Put my paint on there. And right in between them, right on top there. We'll put one more, one more circle. And then you can take your green and make a little stem for it to come down here. So we have a little clover. You can also put another one on there if you want. If you want to do a four leaf clover, we'll put one here. When you're when you guys are finished with this, I definitely want to see what they look like. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it right next to there. And then for the four-leaf clover, it's just a tiny bit different. So I'll take this and just right above one of my circles. Put that guy there. And then one more. All right, and so you put them in this last little spot right here. Put that guy over there. And then we need a stem for this guy. I like to fill in the center a little bit. And then we'll put another little stem right down here to the ground. All right, so there is our St. Patrick's Day painting. I hope you guys had fun. Bye.